On this video I'll show you how you can make an extra $600 a month just playing a game. Let's jump straight in. Okay, so on this video I'll run through the five simple steps to follow that will enable you to make an extra $600 per month. Now you can level this up and earn more if you want or it may be out of your reach at the moment and just coming back down and maybe a hundred dollars a month or whatever figure you're comfortable with but like i said on this video i'll show you the five steps that would make you six hundred dollars a month extra income just by playing a game so what is the game first of all it's a game called townstar we're looking at the global map here at the start of townstar and what you need to do uh, when you start playing is choose a location and it's a farming simulation style of game it's great fun it's simple to play but it's also got higher levels of complexity so it's always engaging for you as well um, but yeah you can sign up for free with uh, gala games and that's how you play townstar if you go to gogala.co.uk take you through to the gala games website you can register there for free once you've registered your account, you'll see in the games section, uh, you'll see down here in the list, here is Townstar. This is their first play to earn game. And all you have to do is play the game, meet the challenge on a daily basis, and you can earn what's called Town Coin, which has real monetary value. And I'll go through all the details on that as well as we go through this short video. So that's your first step. Step one is to simply sign up for a free account at Gala Games. So go gala.co.uk, that will take you through to the Gala Games and sign up there. Your second step uh, for Gala Games to know that you're serious in wanting to earn in their play to earn game is that you have some coins in your account. Now Gala Games currently have two coins. They've got uh, Gala Coins themselves or Gala Tokens and also Town Coins which are the coins uh, specifically for Townstar. And you just need at least one coin, either Gala or Town Coin, in your account to qualify for the play to earn games. That will give you what's called a power level of one, which means you can earn from a single NFT during the game. So the first thing you want to do after you've got your free account is actually buy some Gala coins. Now there is, if you look at the Get Gala tab on the Gala Games website, You'll see here they list some of the exchanges where you can go and actually purchase Gala coin already. Binance being the biggest one. There's also Coinbase, which is not yet on the list here as I'm recording this video. And I'll show you very quickly with my own Coinbase account how you can do this. Now, if you've not got a Coinbase account, then you can use the link in the description. Uh, that will give you my invitation link to Coinbase. And then I think it's if you deposit £100 or $100, you'll get an extra $10 or £10 bonus just for using my invitation link. So do take advantage of that. Uh, once you sign up with Coinbase, there'll be some uh, proof of identity checks, that sort of thing. But once you've got your account set up, you'll see there's a buy and sell uh, option up here. So you click on the buy, sell, and what you want to do is go and buy some gala. So here's your option here. So at the moment, the default is to buy Bitcoin, but if we click on Bitcoin, we then get the search list and we can type in Gala. So we want to buy some Gala coin. Uh, you've then got the option, well, how do you want to pay for this? If you've loaded some money into your wallet at Coinbase, you can use that. Or alternatively, if you uh, add in a credit or debit card, then you can add that as well. So then you get a choice of saying, well, how much do you want to buy? At the moment, because I'm in the UK, it's given me the pound sterling. So if I wanted to buy 50 pounds worth of Gala, I could do that. Alternatively, I click on the Gala logo here. I can say, well, actually, I would like to buy 150 Gala coins. So depending which way you want to go, um, click on the preview buy and you'll get a summary of what you're about to purchase. So here you can see that if I wanted to buy 150 Gala coin at the moment, it would cost me 53 pounds and 11 pence and that includes the Coinbase fee of 53 pence. So I click on buy now and that would be in my account at Coinbase. You see I have uh, just a few Gala coin here, 243 Gala coin at the moment. So once you've got your Gala coin, you then need to send that to your wallet at Gala Games. So if we just go back to Gala Games here, if you click on your inventory, 
and then you'll have you can see your balance in gala coin you click on that and there is then an option here to say get gala ethereum and you click on that option and it gives you your address so you click on copy that address and all you need to do is go back to your coinbase account and you say send and receive and we're going to send and we're going to choose gala coin and we're going to send how many gala you want to send through so let's say 100 gala coin you post in the address that you've just been given at your gala games website for your wallet so you paste that in there uh, you're paying with gala from your account click on continue and just confirm the details from there and within a matter of minutes uh, your gala will appear in your inventory at your gala games account so that's now steps two and step three completed. Step two was to purchase some Gala coins. Step three was to send it through to your Gala Games account. You're now qualified with a power level of at least one, which means you can earn from one NFT. Now, what is an NFT? Briefly, we need to look at this. If we come through um, just once we start the game, you need to pick a location first of all. And I can show you here location I've got here is with this big red arrow flashing down on my location that I've chosen for this game and the reason I've chosen that is because it's in a forest area and here is the city nearby uh, Johannesburg so if I go back to my actual game you can see here is the starting point you get with your farm uh, in a forest so we've got a farmer here coming around he collects some wheat he takes that back over to the silo uh, my silo is actually full at the moment, so I click on the truck and I want to sell some wheat. Uh, I've got 20 wheat in the silo, so I click on sell and we can see that's going to take 1 minute 30 to get to Johannesburg and it will take me one gasoline to go and do that. Now, I'm not going to look through at the full mechanics of the game. There's plenty of videos on YouTube and on my channel which show you how to play Townstar. There's also a guide at townstar.com uh, showing all the different elements involved with the game. Uh, but what I do want to point out on this, when you look at the top left hand corner, you can see that I've got a Gala power level of 24, which means I can actually earn from 24 NFTs in the game. Now, on this video, I want to show you just using one NFT. An NFT is a non-fungible token. It's a digital asset in the game that gives you uh, enhanced performance in the game. And so it has utility, it has purpose. So if I just click on the square here, you'll see you get this blue icon on the right hand side and this will list the NFTs that I've got in my inventory that I could place in this game. So first of all, let's have a look at the challenge. If we click on the rancher icon here, we can see that when we're playing this game, we have the, the Town Star Daily Challenge. If I earn 1,000 stars, and I do that before the, the current day expires, which is in 9 hours, 21 minutes time, then I will earn no town coin. That's because I don't have any NFTs in the game. Now, if I go and place an NFT, so I click on the blue icon here, and what I'm going to put in is a, an alpha fountain good, and I'm going to place that in the game. So that's an NFT that I actually owned. So I've placed that in the game. Now if we look at the challenge, so we're clicking on the rancher icon again, we can see that now I have I managed to earn a thousand stars, I will earn 35 town coin. So 35 town coin, let's quickly go and look at uh, coinmarketcap.com. So if you look in coinmarketcap.com and in the top right hand corner you click on search and you type in town for the town, car, the town coin, the town star. Uh, that brings you through to this page and you can see the current value of town coin. So at the moment, as I'm recording this video, it's just under 65 cents per town coin. So like I've just shown you in this game here, by having this one NFT placed in the game, if I now complete the thousand star challenge, then I'll receive 35 town coin. So 35 town coin, worth 0.65 cents each. That is $22.75 per day at the current prices. Now, town coin could go a lot higher, it could go a lot lower, but this is the current figure. So if it stayed at this level for the whole year, 365 days, 
that would give me $8,300 in the year, or in a month, if we divide that by 12, we would see that's $691 a month, a very useful extra income. So uh, what we need to do is show you how to buy this NFT. I'm also going to show you uh, a couple of quick tips on actually playing the game, but one of the other things here on the daily challenge at the moment, this is simply to complete and get a thousand stars. We've got the stars up here and we get stars for every transaction we do. So I've sent some wheat off to Johannesburg. The truck has come back and I just need to click on the truck now to cash in that money. There we go. And we'll see that I've now got 10 stars for having sold that wheat. So if I go and sell some more wheat, then that would give me another 10 stars. Now here's one very quick tip and you'll need to check out my other videos um, on this. Uh, to actually get to a thousand stars, you would run out of money, uh, sorry, you'd run out of gasoline uh, because you only start with 40 gasoline. You can see your inventory on the left-hand side here. And I've already used two gasoline now because I've sent the truck off twice and it takes one gasoline every time it goes. So I'm not gonna raise enough sales to get to the thousand stars. So one massive tip is that once you start uh, playing the game, you need to start uh, producing higher value goods. So what you can do is you can take the wheat and you can start milling it into flour. So if I go to my shop icon here and in the shop, we can see I could place a windmill, uh, $15,000 in the game. So I place the windmill, it requires five wood to make it, but once that windmill has been made, that can turn the wheat into flour. And if I sell flour, I get a higher value for it. And once you've got more money, then you can start building a refinery, which is what you need to make gasoline. Now it's a very, very simplified version of what you need to do there. There's more complexity to it, so do check out the other videos. But just giving you a little bit of game mechanics and a quick tip there, because a lot of people ask me, Paul, I run out of gasoline. How do I get to my thousand stars uh, to qualify for the challenge? So back comes the truck. Let's click on that. And there we go. We've now got 20 stars. So the challenge is simply to get to the thousand stars. Now, what I will do as well at this point, just show you how you can develop your town. You don't need to restart your town. Uh, essentially, we get a month to play in the play to earn and spend the first couple of days just getting your town, your farm set up to a high level of production. And then to meet the challenge is actually really simple, very quick. Uh, but you're probably going to need to develop certain skills, understand how the game mechanics works. That's gonna take a little while to get used to. But again, hey, if this can make you $600 a month extra income, that's gotta be worth a few hours of your time. Um, let me go and show you my own existing farm at the moment as well. So let me go and change server. So my mega farm is on the play to earn server three. So let's just go back in over here. So here's my farm here, click on view the challenge. And again, earn a thousand stars uh, to make however many town coin. Now this is already, because I've played it on the other server, I've already got 20 uh, stars here. Uh, but you can see this is a much more developed farm. I'm producing grapes on a massive scale uh, and that's what I do. And all I need to do to actually complete the challenge on this, for instance, is go to my ship that I've got, click on the ship, click on sell, and all I'd need to do is sell 100 grapes and that would qualify me for completing the daily challenge. So actually, once you've built your farm up, it's literally just a few seconds a day to earn your town coin. But again, if I come in here, we can add in our alpha fountain good. Here it is at 35 town coin a day. Again, click on the challenge. And you can see earn a thousand stars to earn 35 town coin. So let's go and look and see how would you buy this NFT. Now you don't have to have just that specific NFT. There are lots of different NFTs and there's a spreadsheet here that uh, one of the game players in Townstar has put together for public access. So you can actually see how much all of these different NFTs will earn you in Towncoin if you happen to operate them in the challenge in your game. So you can see here there's the Alpha Fountain Good and that earns 35 Towncoin 
per day or per challenge that you complete because they might be doing more than one challenge per day soon. But that will give you 35 town coin per challenge, the Alpha Fountain Good. Now you don't have to do it with a single NFT. If you wanted to make $600 a month at the current price, you need about 30 town coin per day. So you might have, uh, let's have a look at this, a, a rare brine storage worth 14 town coin a day. Uh, you could have two of those. So two at 14 each would be 28. Uh, one thing you need to bear in mind there is you would need a higher power level because with only one Gala coin in your account, you would only be on Gala power level one. If you want to get to power level two, which will allow you to earn from two town, uh, Townstar NFTs, then you would need 5,000 uh, Gala coin in your account. So it's gonna cost you more to have money in your inventory to play with two NFTs than with a higher value NFT. But that's part of the calculation. Part of the fun is to work out, well, what is your objective? Do you want a high value NFT? So if you had a look at this, you could have a crane bot, which could give you 100 town coin a day. So you're talking about $1,800 a month income uh, from having a crane bot. So if you only had a Gala power level of one, so in other words, just one Gala coin in your account, then it'd be worth looking at possibly acquiring a crane bot and so on. Um, so let's go and have a look. There's a link to this uh, spreadsheet, by the way, in the description again uh, below the video. But let's have a look and see, just as an example again, the Alpha Fountain Good, which will earn 35 town coin a day. Let's see if we can go and find that. Now, there's an, uh, an exchange called OpenSea. So in OpenSea, what are we searching for here? This is the eBay equivalent of um, the NFT market. So you can discover, collect, and sell extraordinary NFTs. So what we want to do first of all is look for the Townstar collection. So we type in Townstar, and another quick tip here is always look for the verified collection. There's a, a lot of fake listings on OpenSea, as there are on eBay, um, of pretend items for sale. But if you look at the verified collection, then you know these are the genuine items. So let's click on this Townstar, the Verify Collection, and that will take us through to the collection of Townstar. And another way to verify this is correct is how many items there are from uh, this account on this collection. So there's 414 different items that can be purchased uh, with or for Townstar. There's over 31,000 separate owners. Again, this is verifying that you are in the right place because there's lots of people own these. And you can see there's a volume traded. So these, this is the genuine collection of Townstar items. Let me very quickly show you how that would compare to a fake one. So again, if we look at Townstar, um, and we see here there's Townstar tokens, Townstar NFTs, Townstar beta key. Uh, let's have a look at this uh, Townstar NFT. And we can see a very different picture here. There's only one item, there's only one owner. It's the person who created this um, item. They're trying to sell it. It's completely fake. Uh, it's not the right price. It's, you know, stay, stay well clear of that. But let's go back to the Verify collection. Uh, so Townstar, full collection, lots of items, lots of owners, genuine trading volume. And we can search in here, there's the search box, we can search for Alpha Fountain, and that will do for a search. And we can see there's four different fountains here, and we want the good one. So the Alpha Fountain Good, which gives us 35 town coin per day. So we click on this item, and we can see here that there are 229 people own these items. There are 4,392, that's the maximum supply that there will ever be on these fountains. And this is part of the fun of collecting NFTs is that there are scarcity, there's a rarity to them. And so generally these prices are going up because more and more people are starting to play Townstar. And so you want to get in as soon as you can. Uh, now we've got a current price here. This is an astronomically high price at the moment as we record this video. Maybe in a few months time that this will seem like a low price, but at the moment this would be overpriced. You don't want to buy this one here at 4.49 Ethereum, which works out currently at $17,709. If we go down the page a bit further, we can see uh, what prices these items have actually been selling for. So in this section here, 
we've got the item activity. If we close the transfers section so we can just see sales, we can see that a day ago, uh, a, an alpha fountain goods sold for 1.77 Ethereum, two days ago, 1.765, three days ago, 1.76, three days ago 1.59 and so on. So the fair rate is going to be around about the 1.75, 1.8 Ethereum at the moment. So what does that mean in actual pricing? So if we look at the price of Ethereum, uh, again back at coinmarketcap.com, we look up Ethereum, current price of Ethereum is 3,949. So 1.75 Ethereum is what we'd expect to pay for our fountain, times that by the $3,960 per Ethereum, we're looking around $7,000. Now you may be thinking, whoa, $7,000, that's a ridiculous amount of money. Like I said, this is purely an illustration to show you how to make an extra $600 a month. And remember, $600 a month works out at $7,200 per year. So that uh, alpha fountain will pay for itself in a year if you pay that sort of price at the uh, $7,200. So $7,000 and at the end of the game, or not even at the end of the game, but the end of the day, you still own this NFT and that is part of the point and the power of owning NFTs. They are yours to keep, you can trade it anytime you want and you may well find, and certainly that's certainly the trend at the moment, that these NFTs go up in value because as more and more people start to see the power and value of playing Townstar, these NFTs become more and more desirable and the prices go up. So step five is simply to play the game. So your four, five steps rather, join Gala Games for a free account at gogala.co.uk. Get yourself some Gala coin, either from Binance or Coinbase, load that into your step three is to load that into your gala games account to give you the power level which then allows you to um, earn with the nft step four is to buy an nft that you could then place in your game uh, and once you increase your power level you can have multiple nfts in your game you can start trading your nfts you can start having really lots of fun but also potentially making a lot of money and then step five is to simply play the game and complete the challenge every day and earn your town coin. Once you get your town coin, you can uh, withdraw that, put that back into uh, normal currency if you want to. It's entirely in your control. Um, so a couple of little tips, look for good value NFTs. I've shown you the quick calculation there from the spreadsheet. Go to OpenSea, see how much they're selling for. Uh, do a simple division by the number of town coin that you'll receive. See which gives you the best value. Keep your eyes open as well because occasionally they'll become uh, bargains up on OpenSea uh, and you can see there are occasional dips in price. There you go, a few days ago these were selling, 8th of December, they were selling at an average price of 0.21 um, Ethereum, now at 3, 0.3 Ethereum, so that's a 50% gain uh, just in a few days there if you'd got that, um, what was that, 10 days ago. So keep your eyes open for bargains as well, same as you would with eBay and also learn the skills. Um, do check out my other videos on the YouTube channel. Also subscribe to my channel if you want more tips and advice on how to make your money work for you. I do a lot of videos on Townstar. I'll be doing more videos on Gala Games, in crypto, and also on simple investing. Uh, I'm also a member with uh, an investment club where they invest in uh, real businesses that have some potentially very, very high returns as well. So do subscribe to my channel if you want information on that and make sure you don't miss out on those videos. I wish you all the best and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.